Right. Got it. We are being live streamed, it's telling us. So I'm just going to yep, look I... to make sure. Can you see us? Oh, let's see here. Uh, here we go. I see us. Perfect. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do this so I can see you. All right. Perfect. Excited for another one of our Lin Academy passion sessions. Um, all right, well, let's get started. I think it's the top of the hour. One minute over. Sorry, folks, we're just getting some technology working for us. Um, so welcome, everyone, once again to the Lin Academy passion sessions. This is an opportunity for all of you to meet some of our amazing graduates from the Lin Academy who are skilled in a multitude of modalities, as you'll hear in a moment from our guests today. Um, and our, our, well, our intention here, our goal here is just to inspire you, right? We want to share our passions so that you feel inspired to follow your own passions. Um, you know, follow your truth. You know, Denise Lin, who is the founder of the Lin Academy, and we are all so strongly connected to, always tells us to uh, listen because the soul uh, uh, loves the truth. And so the more we're able to kind of listen to what our soul wants, and the more we're able to then to kind of connect in a very authentic way to our soul, uh, the more we're able to live the lives of our dreams. So welcome everyone. Uh, for those who are unfamiliar with the Lin Academy, uh, this is a school, as I mentioned, that was founded by Denise Lin. Um, there are many different programs that are part of this that include soul coaching and interior alignment and clutter clearing and gateway dreaming and you know, many more. Uh, so you can learn more by going to the to thelinacademy.com. You can see all the programs and the practitioners, et cetera. So feel free to, to go there to investigate and enjoy. But today uh, we're talking with Judy Galarussian. I'm very pleased and honored to be able to speak with her today. She and I um, have become such good friends uh, over the past year or so. Um, and um, she's gonna be talking to us about um, something that she is a passion of hers, which is combining soul coaching with mindset coaching and the, the powerful transformative things that you can do with that. Um, so I'll give you a little bit of uh, information about Judy and then I'll pass pass to her and she can start telling us um, more about her passion. So Judy has been a holistic practitioner for a good 25 years, maybe a little more, and she has found a passion in, in bringing together a, a series of modalities, whether it's soul coaching or oracle card reading or clutter clearing, all of those are part of the Lynn Academy program, um, but also crystals and flower essences um, and mindset coaching, again, which she'll be talking about today, but bringing all those together to really help people to um, find their authentic selves, to listen to their souls, to really kind of um, kind of connect on a deeper level. Um, you know, so you know some of her certifications, soul coaching, um, uh, clutter clearing, soul coaching, oracle cards, transformational breathing, advanced Reiki, mindset training, crystal resonance therapy, goes on and on. Um, and so we're very fortunate to have her with us today where she's going to talk to us about how she works with her clients to help them kind of reach their full potential. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to pass the uh, pass it to you, Judy, and if you can tell us a little bit about kind of you and your background and, 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 and this passion of yours. Thank you, Bill. And it's, I feel the same with you. Ooh, mm. Yeah, oh, mm. my heart. Um, it started for me at a really, at a very young age. Um, I didn't, you know, I, there were things that did happen. There were traumatic things and non-traumatic things, but it, I always knew that if I went outside and connected with Mother Earth and picked mm -hmm. up stones, that's where the crystals come into being. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if we went to the shore, the sea glass, that type of thing, and then got more into it there. But I also knew for resiliency, which was not a term that I knew as a child, but mm -hmm. figured it out when I got into my teen years, that I had to shift and change my mindset. Mm. And it was, um, even if others were reacting, mm -hmm. I didn't have to then get pulled into that mm. kind of chaos. We'll just use those terms for it. So mm -hmm. that's how that 
really started. And from there, it was really like a lifelong learning. Like I, prior to going into what was called the new age, because my husband and I did open a, a shop that would have been considered new age, which we still have the name. That's Crystal Concepts. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, I would always go to these new age shows and talk to people and say, no, 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 this is old age. Mm-hmm. You know, herbalism, homeopathy, essential oils. All of this, including mindset, because when you go back to the great, I because I in college and stuff, and even in high school, I read a lot. I, I would go to the Boston Public Library. I would sit there. That was my safe place and mm. read about philosophies and religion and spirituality and kind of immersed myself in that. Mm-hmm. World. Mm. So that is what led me on the path. Okay. Now, how did Denise come into play? Mm. I ended up getting this book. Mm-hmm. One of my favorites. Sp- mm-hmm. It's Sacred Space. Mm-hmm. Like I showed you in, you know, when you and I were talking before, it's one of the original. It is the first edition. I read it, and I mean, it's dog eared and it's yellow, and it's like the Bible, I think. That's mm-hmm. my personal opinion. Um, I was like, I need to know more about this woman. So at that point, I started buying, like I bought previous books, which I don't, the dreaming book now, I forget the Mm -hmm. uh, original name of it, because I know it's changed names a few times. But I brought into the past life one, I think changed names as well. So I bought quite a few of her books and and followed Mm -hmm. her over the years. Mm -hmm. Um, For me, I would have loved to have, yeah, I did get to know Denise over the through the pandemic and stuff through an online retreat and stuff and I got to know her on stage I would my job took me around the world and it took me in and out of a lot of uh, places flying in and out of the United States as well so I would because at that point was interested in new age would go and I would sit in the back of the room and just soak it all in Mm-hmm. soak this soak this woman in and like where how can I get in more involved the mindset training though was really at a young age I I because I lived in Massachusetts uh joined Cabot's Inn mm-hmm. the mindfulness center at the University um, of uh, Worcester okay it's UMass it's actually UMass Medical Center is where okay. he was out of he started out in 1979 and I was one of the early on people there's only I believe there's only like maybe 65,000 there might be more because I know he's doing training now but the mm-hmm. originals that went through that training there for mm-hmm. mindfulness and mindset and immersion in that mm-hmm. so that's where the mindset really and then how the passion now came to be yeah. for me mm-hmm. was when I took the soul coaching. Um, I knew that, that the, and I'll get into it, you know, sure. um, more with real examples and the power of it. But I started with mindset constantly with clients and and myself and family and everything else and and the one thing that I um my catch the other thing too for people to know I I live in New Hampshire I'm in Swansea Mm -hmm. New Hampshire which is Viking I am married to a great like my my best friend I Mm -hmm. I don't use the term soulmate I just he's my he is my bestest friend in the whole wide world sure (laughs) I've I have two horses and two rambunctious golden retrievers. Mm-hmm. Um, so we'll get that out of the way. That's me personally. Sure. What I start with with people is, I, I ask this question a lot of times with my clients. You know, imagine a life where you're 100% aligned with your soul's purpose. Mm-hmm. Where limiting beliefs, um, you're no longer held back, mm-hmm. you know, by them. Um, you're You're reaching your dreams um you're uh, being authentically and unapologetically you Mm -hmm. that's a real big thing for me i think a lot of people want to fit a mold you know that's one of the sacred you know Mm -hmm. i i need to be like everybody else right comparison and i think that 
the secret like sauce came to be when I got into it. I and I used you know the other book too that I've had and it's this is my original one the soul mm-hmm. coaching book whenever I would come back and I needed to de-stress I would take myself through mm-hmm. soul coaching do the 28 days <clears throat> and I knew there was magic there mm-hmm. yeah that's why <clears throat> excuse me allergies that's why I went for the certification was I but- knew I needed to no, I was just going to ask. So, you know, as you kind of were working with mindset, but then saw, you know, and, and got more engaged in soul coaching, because I know you've been through the through the program, right, mm-hmm. multiple times, mm-hmm. right? Because it's so valuable, those 28 yeah. days where you can really connect with the four elements and you connect with, you know, a lot of releasing and letting go and, and mm-hmm. really establishing and, and connecting with your authentic self. How did soul coaching help you to enhance the mindset coaching that you've been doing, how did, what, what did you bring into that from that? Because <clears throat> I look at soul coaching mm-hmm. and how I explain it to people is it's a type of coaching that's focusing you um, to connect with your soul, your true mm-hmm. self, mm-hmm. your inner wisdom, I like to say a lot of times as well. Um, a lot of people don't do that. Like with mindset, you can help somebody get through, you know, uh, We'll take, for instance, I have a, I have a client, mm-hmm. totally feared out, freaked out, didn't want to speak in front of people. Mm-hmm. And this is a person who's a CEO of a very large company mm-hmm. and was going on a TED talk. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> I had to like take him through this whole thing and, and where the soul coaching part came into it was get releasing that past trauma. The mindset was great because I said to him, let's, you know, how would you feel? How is it going to be? How are you going to, you know, and, and all the affirmations and all of that changes, but how would you feel? Close your eyes. How would you feel? Mm -hmm. You know, and everybody is like sitting on the edge of the seat, just hanging on your every word. Mm -hmm. Mm. Thankfully I had the soul coaching in my back pocket right Mm -hmm. and said do you want it i I, I know that you're very analytical Mm -hmm. and what i did is i took that and got into um the why Mm -hmm. why you know using meditation Mm -hmm. using the, the the nice questions that I sometimes I didn't think of with my right. dad. I mean, mm-hmm. I learned them through the soul coaching, mm-hmm. you know, and it was, it was, a, it was a trauma. Mm-hmm. It was something that <clears throat> when he was a young child, he had a little bit of a stutter. Mm-hmm. He, he got over it. Mm-hmm. He would never know it, ever know it, mm-hmm. but he got so bullied and made fun of. Mm-hmm. And I mean, think about how traumatic that is when you're, in preschool, in kindergarten, and in first grade. Absolutely. So he, and it was funny because he broke down and was like, I never even thought about that. Right. And he rocked it. Like, yeah, that's great. That's so, fantastic. So when you, when you asked about the, the I call it the, the power of mindset coaching, because you mm-hmm. have that power, mm-hmm. you know, because it's the way we, we change the way we think. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. coaching and how we perceive and it's not even changing the way we think it's how we perceive the world around us mm, okay mm-hmm. a lot of times people perceive things that really are there it's a perception but then you have the magic mm-hmm. we call it magic because it is it's it's magic the magic of of soul coaching is it's deeper mm-hmm. it's into our spiritual essence you know, it, it, it helps us um, to reconnect mm-hmm. with our true selves. Yeah. You know, and our inner wisdom, our soul. Mm-hmm. Um, so with using that approach, which I wasn't using in, I used affirmations and I, and my, I was kind of unorthodox. I always had Oracle cards of every, from, I, I collected obviously Denise's and then mm-hmm. I have every, I've got, I've got a trunk full of Oracle cards because right. I was a little bit of a, you know, I'm an Oracle card junkie, mm-hmm. but when you combine those, 
because with soul coaching, they, you use oracle cards. Mm -hmm. You use the clutter clearing, mm -hmm. meditation, affirmations. Mm -hmm. All of that is just, it turns into this magic. It's like alchemy. Mm -hmm. It's like a synergy. Absolutely. I mean, there's, there's, so, there's so many tools at our disposal through soul coaching, um, you know, and it's, it's one of the things that I've always really felt that it was, um, that, that for me really mm. uh, made a difference was recognizing that I could trust that wisdom right within, you know, it, it is kind of bridging that idea of trust, right? Um, so, and so soul coaching is such a powerful way to do that. And so once you combine that with any other modality, you know, it, it sky's the limit. You know. Oh, it, it, it is absolutely because mindset training it can help um, people overcome negative um, thinking patterns. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like I told you, the fear of public speaking mm -hmm. it, that was a you know, that was a, a, a legitimate fear, mm -hmm. a legitimate like mm -hmm. I can run this company, but you know, when I can have like board meetings, but that's like in a position of power. Mm -hmm. But then to get into a position of vulnerability mm -hmm. with looking out at a sea of faces mm -hmm. was a whole yeah. different ballgame. Yeah. And, you know, again, I, I, I know I keep on going back to this. But it's connecting the soul coaching was really connecting with the true self. And you're mm -hmm. right. It's trusting. We then can take the two and, you know, trust in the process. Mm -hmm. that Absolutely. we're not going to get, we're not going to fall on our butts, mm -hmm. you know, and if we do, not all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, yep. and don't let it, and, and don't let it kick you back mm -hmm. and, and, and have it be, oh my God, I failed at this. That's the other thing. Right. I have, so I have a lot of clients that they, they I failed at it. Mm -hmm. So why would I try and, you know, try this again? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, so, it, just just a question for you, because I know that you have a lot, yeah. you know, a, a, a broad selection of clients, right? So you've got mm -hmm. clients that are, you know, corporate CEOs, right? You've got, uh, you know, a lot of the business clients, you've got clients who are, you know, people who are well-informed about this kind of work, healing and energy work. Mm -hmm. And so I guess my question for you is how, how have you found um, working with people who aren't a part of this, right? The corporate CEOs, the business people, how have you helped them to bridge the gap between, you know, this, this world that is outside of their typical and, you know, and, and just accept it. Okay. And that's where, that's where the fact it's funny because mindfulness and mindset training and meditation has really become mainstream. Mm -hmm. I mean, Think about it. Think about how many of our great <laughs> people who have, have developed like Apple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Totally into 100% into meditation and yoga. Mm -hmm. I mean, so mm -hmm. it's not that much of a far leap. Where it was, where it's been a far leap mm -hmm. was um, there are some people that look at this as, Ooh, you know the religiosity mm, like mm -hmm. this is the work of a devil i mean i've had somebody tell me this. i had right. a i did have a i did have a corporate person tell me that i was doing the work of the devil mm, mm -hmm. i and, and the thing was i was brought in by phr department mm, mm -hmm. yeah. and this was not even soul coaching at the time i did mm -hmm. not have that i mean i would I would, I would go to it because I knew it worked for me. So I knew some of the questions, but I wasn't certified. So I couldn't say, I'm going to do this and this, marry the right. two. Mm -hmm. But um, it's, I think when you sit down and if you're one-on-one, -on -one, it's, mm -hmm. it's kind of, for me, it's easier. I, I've always felt it was easier in a group session because people in a group session, <clears throat> if you partner them up mm -hmm. and they do mirroring and different things, um, that one on one is you have to go towards their analytical mind and go back for all of the philosophers mm. from years ago mm -hmm. because um, every great person 
and mm -hmm. we go back to Roman times and the emperors and everything else, and it doesn't mm -hmm. matter where, what country, they always used mindset, mm -hmm. mindset and meditation. Mm -hmm. And whether it was just writing things down, mm -hmm. there was a lot, there's a lot of things that have been written or so when you, when you pose that to a very analytical business type person and say, mm -hmm. well, do you use a, especially now since everybody uses bullet journals, do you use mm -hmm. a bullet journal? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. What are, do you just use it to put like you, what you're doing, like in work and, and if they have kids, what, how you're scheduling your kids? Oh no, I'll, I'll write things that just come to my mind. Hmm. And when you, when you ask them to pull out their bullet journal and say, what's on this? And you'll all of a sudden say, well, you know, you write yourself an affirmation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, because they'll write like, I'm going to go into this meeting and this is going to be a successful meeting because, mm -hmm. or they'll talk about their own leadership skills mm -hmm. or a growth. The big thing in business is a growth mindset. That seems mm -hmm. to be the buzzword. It has been for the past, I think, decade. Sure. So they, when you go that way, it's very easy. And then I've gotten clients from, I have clients from all walks of life. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have them from, you know, military, uh, the, the cashier. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. it, and it's just anyone that wants, um, they, they've either heard, mm -hmm. you know, been referred to me or when we were doing, um, pre pandemic, obviously when we were doing workshops, mm -hmm. um, and I would be invited to different people's shops or, or places of business and and talk about it but you know um it's just like i said it's an alchemy it's it's magic it's synergy it's, it is it is and it's, it's amazing to me how soul coaching is one of those modalities that allows you to cross so many of those uh kind of um oh I guess so many different kinds of clients, so many different kinds of perspectives, because it's not tied right to any one religion. It is it is allowing you yeah. to connect to your own soul, and that's based on your own beliefs, whatever they might be. And yeah, so, and that's, yeah, that's that's a that's a, and that's where this is so um, useful. I think mm -hmm. uh, I think that it's it, I hope that there are more soul coaches out there to really teach this and, mm -hmm. and take people through it. Um, because when you use it with any other modality, I mean, I'll give you a, for instance, personal life. Sure. My husband does kitchen design and he has a business in it. And sometimes I'll go in um, to do measures or go talk to the client for him. And I would take them through clutter clearing because they would say, oh my God, what am I going to do? I've got all this stuff. And I would use clutter clearing for that. And soul coaching really took place. I could then ask a heart to heart question mm -hmm. yeah. and get into like, what, so what, what do you, you know, most people don't, they, they'll look at functionality, but what, what are you dreaming of? What do you feel this room is going to be? Mm -hmm. yeah. What's the spirit of this room going to be? Mm -hmm. And people will kind of look at you and go spirit of a room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you mm -hmm. know, because you're talking about uh, a kitchen having a right. spirit, mm -hmm. and then they go, "Oh, well, it's where the family gathers." And, both, and then, you know, you just kind of ask and say, "Well, what does that really mean to you?" And they'll be like, "Oh, it's the heart. It's where mm -hmm. all my love is. Mm -hmm. We we have joy and laughter, mm -hmm. and and you can bridge it so much mm -hmm. with people. Mm -hmm. I mean, and bridging to, like I said, it again." The mindset for me is I'll go into and say, okay, I know that you're anxious about this. Right. Why don't we sit and let's close our eyes, mm -hmm. take a few breaths, mm -hmm. and I'll ask specific questions that for them, like, mm -hmm. you know, because we'll have known what their family dynamics and all of that is. And it's right. and it's amazing. It's mm -hmm. yeah, and and it's it's amazing to me too when we, you know, when you ask the 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 question in a, in a certain way. You know, and how we've been trained in soul coaching, right? It just allows people to have those aha moments in so many unexpected oh, ways. Yeah. You know, oh yeah, it I it, love that. it absolutely is the you know, and it's a it's like kind of identifying that limiting belief. 
Mm-hmm. A lot of us, I, I, and we, we kind of work to reframe that. Mm-hmm. You know, so if it's just this quick one-on-one, um, you can do that, uh, you know, in a few sessions. Like I would say to people, mindset training is not a one and done. Mm-hmm. That's something that you have to catch yourself at. Like mm-hmm. I catch myself at it. And there were times when we are not perfect at all. I will sit in my dirty diaper and I mm-hmm. will have the wah, wah, wah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> And then it'll be like, okay, fuck it up, kiddo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and let's think about mm. So for all of us in the world we have to constantly and and i hope that with the the, you doing these series that more people you know and as we all kind of share it and see it because everybody is coming to the table with a lot Mm -hmm. a lot of knowledge and a lot of denise's training and like you said from the start the soul loves the truth i mean Mm -hmm. it just that's our Mantra. And I think, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. it is. It, 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 you, it's infused in everything. Mm-hmm. And using that term soul, it bridges, again, all religions. It bridges all people. It bridges, mm-hmm. it bridges from the highest CEO right down to, I, I always use this, and I probably will not be politically correct, down to the janitor working in that building. Mm-hmm. But yeah. it, it goes from the top to the bottom. Mm-hmm. And everybody, no matter what their upbringing is and what their beliefs are, unless they're totally atheist, I guess, or agnostic, even agnostic, even, though, believe, yeah. Right, and, and even so, I mean, <clears throat> you know, uh, th- there's always a way for people to kind of connect with their own kind of, their gut feeling, right? They're yeah, yeah. Know, driving well, them, that sort of a thing. Um, the other thing that I yeah. use a lot, when mm-hmm. I go into a, like, um, I was just at one of my clients, which is a, high-tech cyber security firm and mm-hmm. i always say do you trust your gut what's your mm-hmm. first gut emotion what's mm-hmm. your gut emotion because that's mm-hmm. what they go by yeah they're absolutely. they're running on there and then i say and then we just you step into it real further from there mm-hmm. and then when you you know I, and then like i said i love to watch the magic when you take like a group of people and you're watching them mm-hmm. through a visualization mm-hmm. yeah hmm. powerful it's stuff really cool Oh, yeah, it's very absolutely. powerful. Absolutely. Well, it's it's hard to imagine, but we are almost at the uh, at the end of our of our time yes, here. Yes, we are. Um, so um, I wanted to make sure you had an opportunity for those who are interested in learning more about what you do and the services, and mm. um, you know, uh, how, what's the best way for them to reach you? Um, the website is up. It's crystalconcepts.com. Um, the services page isn't there because I I've got a web person working on it. But it's crystalconcepts.com. And my email mm-hmm. is info, I N F O, at mm-hmm. crystals, or, or crystal rather, mm-hmm. concepts. There's an mm-hmm. S at the end of concepts.com. I'll, you know, I'll drop it in the Facebook too. And um, I, I've, got, I've got a couple of phone numbers and I'll drop those too instead of trying to rattle them all off. Sure, no worries. Um, no, that's great. And uh-huh. just for anyone to know, I I have right now a waiting list for it. I, it's not on the website because I do a mailer off of my email list. Okay. Anyone wants to jump on it, I'm going to be having a mindset soul coaching, like a uh, an introduction, and then mm. I'm going to have a, a class on it, a workshop on it. So um, there is a waiting list right now because right. I'm just trying to you know, the Zoom thing, mm-hmm. I've got to figure out how many people I, I don't want to overload it. I want everybody to get a full experience. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, so great. So everyone reach out to Judy at info at crystalconcepts.com. Um, and she'll put that in the, uh, in the in, in, on the Facebook page as well. And for those who are watching this later, feel free to throw questions into um the uh the the comments and we'll get back to you with those as well um but uh i, I just do want to thank everybody and judy especially you for being here with us today uh, but thank you all You're for welcome. being a part of this for wanting to learn more about the lynn academy but your passions right um what it is that you can do to kind of 
you know, uh, get that spark going within you to really decide, you know what, I'm going to move forward with this thing that I just love. Um, so thanks again, everybody. We'll be back again next week. Um, so again, we're having these sessions with our experts in the Lynn Academy um, all through uh, this month, next month, and into June. So keep looking for the events that will be popping up uh, on the page uh, in the days to come. So thank you, everyone, and have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you, Judy. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Bye, everyone. <laughs>